Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday, and that means we're using Uvalxe's My Take on Kakashi Kyle's UXC build. But I just sat there and I noticed something. Today is actually special because we're celebrating Daily Duels episode 365, a whole year of Daily Duels. And I just noticed that the previous little celebration that I did for, you know, one of the series making achievements was Vitamin Y episode 200. Now we're all the way up at 270. Where did all these episodes go? Like, we're almost at 300. Right, wait, 272, 73? I want to say, I think it's 272 today. But where are the, I mean, I guess, you know, if you do a series every day, you're bound to, you know, you know, accumulate a lot of numbers. But it just seems like just yesterday, I was doing like, hey, Vitamin Y 200 in the link in the description is the first episode of Vitamin Y ever. Now we're almost at 300. This is amazing, but... Uh, thank you guys for watching me, and thank you guys for all the support. I would be nowhere, and I'd be nothing without you guys, so just thank you. But, uh, this is a special one, you know, 365 of Daily Duels, and maybe, you know, Vitamin Y might reach that point, too. But we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and do, uh, my take on Kakashi Kyle's, um, uh, uh, deck with the whole Light Serpent stuff like that, um, and we're also going to get uh, our butts kicked by heretics because they're going to go off and try to smack the shit out of us. But, uh, just, you know, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And, you know, just thanks, you know. What? Why did... Why? Okay. Okay, I was about to say, like, what the flippin' fuck did you just do? So I'll go ahead and activate Armageddon Knight. Fat. So, I, I I looked at his deck profile, and I, I started getting the gist of it. I, I made a uh, couple changes, and pro person changes. I decided to stick with the whole uh, Mount of the Bound creator and, the, you know, the, the cyber ends, because those seemed really good, especially with you, Bell. And you know, I, w I at least want to run Mount of the Bound creator in at least one deck, so uh, might as well be this one. But uh, this one will actually be able to utilize the, the full power of Mount of the Bound creator, because I have the other forms of Ubel, unlike the last deck, which only had first form, this one has the limit reverses and the calls and the full power. It also has Galaxy Wars back. It's just the return of a lot of cards. It's like pretty much almost like the two decks have combined together, along with the mix of Kakashi Kyle's breed. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, try it out. So we got Galaxy Wizard who can go ahead and tribute himself. So, you know, we're just going to hopefully do some awesome plays here. Sure, you're going to blind space? I will go ahead and chain. So, I knew you were going to space. I knew you were. That's why I went ahead and set all, all them cards to scare the shit out of you, despite them all being able to, only one of them, being able to tr truly summon the power of terror with limit reverse. But I knew you were going to space them, so if you spaced the limit reverse, I'd be fine. But I knew you were going to space one of them, and I'm glad that it was call. So, now I have terror on the field, and I still got limit reverse to go ahead and summon you belt back again, if need be later. Alright, that's fine. You want a special summon in defense? Okay, you're going to tribute it for a uh, set. Okay, and then once it's tributed, you can uh, special summon one normal from your... Uh, heck, aren't you going to summon a red eyes? That's fine. Uh, no. No. <laughs> that's seven, and that's five. No. How... How do you overlay a 7 and a 5? <laughs> like, that, that's... Unless it increases its level, does it increase its level? You could target one face of dragon on the field. You could target one... Uh, okay, well, well, we'll say effect next time. Seriously, you can't just do shit. You need to say effect. You didn't even declare your effect. You could target one moment to the levels all face her okay, okay, that's fine. You know? Like no, 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 I'm just gonna do my shit. I'm just gonna do my shit. I don't have to say effect. Cause my effect's not activating. Yes it is. Yes it is. Once well, for a turn, you activating the effect to become the levels. So you need to say your damn effect. Ah, people. Oh. Bell effect. Oh, I forgot Ubel's effect. Wow. Ubel effect. I forgot Ubel's effect. Oh, wait, no, that's during my end phase, so no, I'm gonna get Night Whistle in there. Destroy. My bad. He's got me all mixed up and confused now because he's fucking up. No. 
Terror was summoned during his turn. Now, well, it's Terror's always summoned during my turn, you know, with limit reverse. Yes. You have the control of the card. Destroy it. Alright, trying to see if there's any way that I can destroy you, Bow, right now. Uh, <sighs> it would take a lot of resources to do it, but in the end, it would probably be worth it. I can go summon Galaxy Wizard Tribute, get uh, Galaxy Queen's Light, uh, activate Call of the Haunted, bring back Galaxy Wizard. <sighs> no. What's your attack? Zero. Okay, I can activate Call of the Haunted, bring back Armageddon Knight, drop Level Eater. Yeah, and I can make a Draco Sack. Draco sack, Draco sack, Draco sack, Draco sack. Alright, I can do that. I can do that. So, I will go ahead and activate Call of the Haunted and summon Armageddon Knight. Unless, unless Gungurta. Oh, let me see Gungurta. I run it, right? Uh, you can touch one XC material from this card, target one card, destroy it, and if you do, inflict a thousand. Uh, do I miss, do, would I miss timing on that? It would destroy, and if you do, I think I would miss timing. I think I would, so we're just going to do this Draco Sack way. Then I'll just have a Draco Sack and a freaking Ultimate Nightmare on the field, so that'd be nice. So we're going to go ahead and drop uh, Level Eater to the grave. I believe I don't got any twos that I can do. Really, I mean, fours. No, I have Exiton, and Exiton, I'm up on resources, so that wouldn't work. So I will go ahead and Normal Summon Galaxy Wizard. I will use his effect. I will Tribute. I will go ahead and get Galaxy Queen's Light to my hand. And then I can go ahead and... Uh, actually, I, I can actually pull off Heartland right now. Yeah, I can actually... I mean, Heart Earth right now, because I can go activate... Yeah, I could, but not right now. I need, I need Draco Sack, so... I'll go ahead and bring back Galaxy Wizard. We will use his effect to become 8... Level Eater effect. Go ahead and eat a level off and summon back Level Eater. Activate Galaxy Queen's Light. They all become seven. And then we will overlay these two into Draco Smack. Draco Sack will get his effect. I will go ahead and detach this to get two tokens. I will use my effective Draco Sack to remove to destroy my terror. I am the owner of the card, so I will get the effect and I will get to summon Ultimate Nightmare. In defense mode, because why not? And then I will also activate Mound of the Bound Creator, so I pretty much have an invincible Ultimate Nightmare unless you can figure out a way to destroy my Mound of the Bound Creator. Then I'll just go ahead and poke you for 14. That used up a lot of resources to pull off that play, but I think it might have been worth it. So go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm definitely up on resources. He makes an exit ton. At least Draco Sack would survive. Or he could just quit. Alright. Alright, the Light Viper, I'm still trying to figure out the full potential of that. It seems like it's kind of... If it, you don't have the right cards with it, it kind of seems like a bad draw, but I might to test that a little bit more. But so far, it doesn't seem like the best of cards. This dark, this deck would be really well with a Troll Charge, but I refuse to play that card, so... Yep. Lately, that card's just been showing how broken it is lately, especially on uh, Daily Duels, so... Hopefully one of these days it gets banned, because it deserves to be banned. Not even a limit. It's not balanced. It's not It's not even remotely balanced. Not even... Not even... Not even close. I know there's a lot of people that are saying that it's balanced, but it's not. It's not. Not even close. Like, oh, well, you paid the light points, and, and and you can't attack, so that's balanced. But the plays you can pull off with that shit is just ridiculous. Alright, well, still running Tomato, so... I felt like Tomato is still good, because I can still summon Yubel from the from the deck, and, you know, 
that then I'd have a 10 on the field, so you attack me, summon you bell, I activate metal reflect slime summon, and I can go ahead and go into like a Gustav Max or something. Actually, uh, since I opened up with double metal reflect slime, I might even be able to go into a super chuckly fudge covered, but yeah, I'm not really sure about that, especially with all the background that he's about to be playing. Alright, Shard of Greed, alright, that's fine. Another Shard of Greed, alright, well, I'm not sure if I'll allow you to get that off. Hopefully not. Galaxy Wizard, okay. I can make a fell grand. Uh, yeah, no, I can. I can make. I, I can make a uh, chocolate fudge covered right now. I can make chocolate fudge covered right now, and then my opponent would probably quit. So I'm gonna activate metal reflex slime. Is that okay. Unless those two back rows are something to stop me. I'm gonna flip summon my Mystic Tomato. Is that okay? So I can normal summon my Galaxy Wizards, activate Galaxy Queen's Light. Sort of. Summon Galaxy Wizard. Is that okay? Activate Galaxy Queen's Light. All ten. Alright. Time to overlay into super already. You got a response for that? Oh, Dark Bribe. You want Dark Bribe me? Sure. Okay. Uh, I will use Wizard Effect. I will attribute himself to go ahead and get me another Galaxy Queen's Light. I will go ahead and activate Call the Haunted. Alright. I got this. Unless you got unless that's another dark bribe or something, but I'm I wanna wipe you. Activate the fight. All ten. Yep. And I will summon Super Chuckly Fudge Covered. I will go ahead and get his effect. But attaching, it really doesn't matter. I guess it matters because I might be able to use something later. So wipe all your back row. Hmm. And punch you in the face for fucking 5,000. Sure. Go ahead. That's one less card you have in your hand. Wipe it. It's a fucking Exodia deck. This card is sent from your hand to a guy who on this card. Can't be used as synchro materials. Okay. It's supposed to be used with Galaxy Wizard. I mean, not Galaxy. Guys, just Galaxy someone. Can't fucking remember his name. What? Exodia? What? Exodia? Hmm. <laughs> What, punching your Exodia deck in the face? So far, so far you haven't been showing anything that's not Exodia. And drawing the piece of Exodia isn't really good right now. <laughs> that's probably game, yep. Yep. That's not a surprise. Chocolate fudge covered wins the duel, and damn! And then I draw the mounted down crater with the fucking malefic cyber end. Yep. Oh, well, you could have activated that, but it didn't even matter. And it's tack for game. That's it.
Super Chocolate Fudge Covered has made an appearance and wrecked face. Alright, well, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call episode. It's like 15 minutes, so. Uh, so far, what I think of the deck, uh, I think the lizards are kinda gimmicky right now. So I might take them out and maybe try to replace them with Mass Chameleons, since there's no Mass Chameleons in this deck, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to work on the deck, so. Uh, tell me what you guys think so far, so. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Cosmic Ebell. Thanks for watching.